I'm Cheryl, the roving naturalist, and I'm here at VidCon, the annual YouTube conference in LA. While this conference is full of lots of people who make and enjoy all different kinds of content on YouTube, I'm here to test their naturalist chops. Remember when I did a nature ID quiz with people out on the trail at a local forest preserve? I was curious to see if people would be better at identifying brand logos and cartoon characters than wildlife native to their area. Why is this important? In 2015, researchers conducted a survey to figure out how aware people were of the conservation status and needs of different species of whales and dolphins. The survey showed that people think the species they've heard of before, like bottlenose dolphins, orcas, and great blue whales, need conservation, while most people didn't indicate that actual species of concern, like the vaquita, needed to be protected. The researchers also found that study participants were equally as likely to support conservation for made-up species as they were to support conservation for those that are in actual, real live danger. While these results may not sound important at first, think about this. Whether or not the general public is familiar with a certain species can have real, lasting impacts on our environment. Conservation is already an idea that often becomes a victim of political ideologies. If the average person doesn't know much about the plants and animals around them, how can we hope that political and social support will be given to those species that really need it? So I've got a new set of photos and I'm ready to redo my test here at VidCon. This time, the pictures of wildlife will be native to most if not all of North America, so no matter where the attendees are from, they might have a chance of being able to identify these pictures. The competing photos will be of YouTube stars. How do you think the attendees at VidCon will do in this Nature ID quiz? Don't forget to play along. I'd love to see your scores in the comments. Oh, hi, AJ. Hi. Okay, would you like to take my quiz? I do. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm okay. going to be really bad at this. I'm Sabrina. Destiny. I'm Valeria. Okay, my name is Peyton Sedell, and I'm 14 years old. <laughs> I'm Celeste. I'm also 14. Isabella. Uh, Dave Farina of Professor Dave Explains. Dylan Terry, uh, aspiring YouTube creator for geology. Yeah, I'm Bella Ruiz. Hi, I'm Daniel. Hey, I'm Brian McComb from American Adventure Survival Science. Read it right there. Hi, my name is Cesara Jack. I'm a muser. I dropped this. I, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say Diana Cowan, the physics girl, even though it's no, I know it's not her, but she deserves more credit than she does. She gets. That's Diana, right? Physic? No. Oh, sorry. There's another attractive woman. Um, uh, I don't know. Jenna Marbles. Okay. That's Jenna Marbles. That's Jenna Marbles. That is Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles. Okay. Jenna Marbles. Uh -huh. Oh, I actually love Jenna Marbles. <laughs> How about this? I have no idea. Do you know about the I don't know the guy in the. <laughs> I don't know. No idea. Oh, I've seen him before. Who is that? That's the guy from It's Okay to Be Smart. That's Johansson. Oh my god. Smarter every day. Johansson. Uh, or not smarter every day. Whatever. It's okay to be smart. Yeah. Johansson. Yeah. Uh, it's okay it's to be smart, smart right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's Johansson from Smarter Every Day. No, 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 no. It's okay to be smart. I don't know. But, uh, not sure. No, I don't know. Uh, um. I'm not sure. Uh, no idea. Emily Grassley. Uh -huh. Emily Grassley, uh -huh. uh, the Brain Scoop. Emily Grassley uh -huh. from Brain Scoop. I don't know. No. Still don't know. I don't, I'm not well, sure. I'm worse. I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, I should know this. That's not Smosh, is it? No. What? Oh, then I feel ridiculous. I don't know. Those aren't fi fine brothers, are they? No. <laughs> ERB. That is, I don't actually know their names, but, but it's Epic Rap Battles yeah, of History. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but they're really good at winking. I've seen them before. I've seen the guy in the denim jacket before. Yeah. Not even gonna lie, don't know. Rhett and Link, uh -huh. of course. Rhett and Link. Rhett and Link. Rhett and Link. Yep. Rhett and Link. Rhett and Link. Uh -huh. Good mythical morning. Oh, I love Rhett and Link, yep. I, I don't know. Hey, he's he's got a red head. head. His, his hair's red. Markiplier. Uh -huh. Markiplier. Is that how you say it? Markiplier? Markiplier. Markiplier. That is, gosh, gosh, gosh. Uh, Markiplier. That one's Markiplier, right? I know that one. Oh, oh what is his name? No. Nope. No? Mm -hmm. I think that's Vsauce, but I'm probably wrong. Um, Vsauce? Nope. Hey, there's Wheezy Waiter. Wheezy Waiter? Uh, who are these guys? They started the conference you're at right now? That's not the Chai guys. Who is that? I feel stupid. Um, not the Chai guy. You feel stupid. I can't even do anything. Who started VidCon. Oh yeah, because the guy in the blue has a video out. I saw it. That's Hank and John Green. Oh my gosh, it is. John and Hank Green. Uh, Vlog Brothers, Those are the Green, Green Brothers. brothers. Mm -hmm. John and Hank Green. I love yes. them so much. Um, that is the Green Brothers. Yep. There are the Vlog Brothers, uh -huh. Hank and John. 
No, I'm not sure. Don't know. <laughs> no. I don't. Is he a scientist? Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Is he from? I've seen him on like a math one. That he's from Reactions, but I don't ever know his name. Doctor something. Doctor Polyakov, I think, I from periodic videos. You're knocking it out of the park, my man. Uh, uh, Liza, what's her Lily? name? Lily? Lily. Oh, that's, uh, well, I've seen her. She's super famous. She does comedy stuff. Uh, I know her. She's got her own show, too. Gosh, I'll have to pass. Um, no idea. I know her. I can't remember her name. Um, Superwoman. Lily Singh. Superwoman. That is Lily Singh. Okay, so now we're gonna do um, wildlife, so animals and plants that are All native right. to most of North America, so it doesn't matter where you're from. Okay. This is where I win my money back. All right. So who, what is this? Dandelion. It's dandelion. A dandelion. Oh, uh, what's it? It's um. Dandelion. No, it's not a dandelion. It's no. Uh, is it? Is it actually? Oh, yeah. it's like the ones you blow. Those glowing flower things, but I don't know what their name is. Dandelion. Yeah, dandelion. That is. I know what it is. I don't know what it's called. It's like a wishing. Yeah, yeah. You blow on them. You don't remember what color they are? Danza, they dandelion. Oh yes, I got it. I didn't think I'd be able to get that. That is a dandelion. Oh, I don't know what they're called, but I call them dandelion poofs. Yeah, they're dandelion. <laughs> um, I, it's not a sparrow because it's got the red thing. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a red, red belly. No. Mm. They, they, people talk about them coming back and being signs of spring. They, they, they eat worms. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Alright, what kind of bird? Is that a robin? Red-breasted robin. Oh, uh, it's an American robin, but yeah. Uh, robin? Yeah. Robin, yeah. Okay, because the red, the red, yeah. yeah. Is that a robin? That one is a robin? Uh, that is a robin, right? Yeah. yeah. A raccoon. Yes. A tiger. Hey, it's a trash panda. Uh, it's a trash panda, also known as a... Raccoon. Thank you. A, a raccoon. 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 A raccoon. A raccoon. A raccoon. That is a raccoon. A raccoon. There's the, the, what is it, the New York tiger, <laughs> or the, the raccoon. That's a raccoon. A bear. Uh-huh, what kind of bear? A black bear. Yeah, not a grizzly bear, so it is a black bear. That is a black bear. A black bear. Black bear. A bear. Uh, bears. Black bear. Black bear. Right. Yeah. That is a black bear? Yep. Black bear. Uh, black bear. Black bear. It's not weed, is it? No, no, no. That has that has like five leaflets right, on it. Right, right. This has three. Oh, I, I don't know. It's a plant you never want to touch. That's got three Poison leaves. Ivy? Yeah. I don't. I don't it's got know. Got three leaves and you don't want to touch it. Is that what? What is it called? Um, when you get you touch it and and it makes you itchy. You know what it is? <laughs> I know the name. I forgot it. Poison ivy. Yeah. Yeah, you got it right away. That's what awesome. Is it? What about poison what's this? <laughs> poison ivy. Yeah, that's poison ivy. Is that poison ivy? It is poison ivy. You know poison ivy. Is that that's not poison ivy, is it? It oh, is. Okay. At least a three. Let it be. Yeah. Um, is that poison? It is poison ivy. Yeah. Is that poison ivy? I don't know what kind of leaf that is. Uh, it's got three leaves, and you shouldn't touch. Oh, poison ivy uh -huh. then. I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's know. from a kind of tree. If you had to take a guess. I don't know. Not an oak tree. What's the other common one? Yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say maple. Maple leaf? No. Yeah, yeah. maple leaf. Okay, oh. yeah. I'm rocking this. Maple, maple leaf? Maple leaf? Oh, yes. Yeah. What are we doing? Yo! Sycamore? Not a sycamore, but it's a similar shape. Maple leaf. Uh, it's on the Canadian flag. Maple leaf. Yeah. Maple leaf. Okay. Uh, maple leaf. That's just a maple leaf, right? Yeah. That is a duck. Mallard duck. Duck. A duck. A duck. A mallard? Yeah, mallard. That looks like a duck. That's uh, a mallard, actually. Uh -huh. That's a mallard uh -huh. or a duck. Oh, it's a mallard. A bird. What kind of bird? A black one. Is that a blue, blue jay? Huh? Blue jay? Not a blue jay. What what is is a blue jay? Oh, I don't know my bird. <laughs> It's, it's black, but it's really big. <laughs> oh, a crow? It is a crow. Okay, you yeah. got it. I want to say a... It looks kind of crow. Raven. Crow? A crow. Not a crow. Is it? Uh, is that a crow? I can't tell if that's a crow or a raven, to be honest. A crow? That is, I believe, it's either a crow or a raven. I mean, is that a crow? No, is yeah, it? It's a, crow. it's a small crow. Squirrel. Uh-huh. Squirrel? Uh-huh. Well, gray squirrel. A squirrel. A squirrel. A squirrel. A squirrel. A squirrel. Uh-huh. It's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. It's adorable. That's a squirrel. That's a frog. Uh-huh. Uh, wide mouth frog? Wide mouth toad? Well, I mean, it is a frog. Do you want to try to be specific again? It's 
really big. It's a bullfrog. It is a bullfrog. Yeah. Yes. Toad. Is that a toad? Uh, not a toad, but frog? a frog. Frog. Okay. Yeah, it's a, a toad. toad. Or frog. 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 A frog. A frog or a toad. A toad. It looks like more like bullfrog. bullfrog. Okay. And a, either a toad or a frog. If you had to pick one. Looks like a toad. Uh, some sort of frog. A frog. That's a bullfrog. Nice. Yeah. Hey, we yeah. didn't do any animals. That's not yeah. bad, right? Yeah. So, what did we learn? It turns out that YouTube is an incredibly broad, incredibly diverse ecosystem of its own. So the YouTubers that you like watching may not be the same YouTubers I like watching. It also seems like I might be a little old because a lot of the YouTubers on my quiz were not easily recognized by a lot of the younger VidCon attendees. And now for the number stuff. I excluded our friend Isabella as an outlier because she didn't know any of the 10 YouTubers at the beginning of the quiz and everybody else knew at least two. With the outlier score removed, we get some interesting score results. My quiz participants knew 49% of the YouTubers, but 92% of the wildlife pictures. I think these results are really interesting, but let's break down why they might have turned out the way they did. Like I said, YouTube is incredibly broad and diverse, so the chances of two people being fans of the same YouTubers are kind of small. So the fact that my participants got a about 50% of the YouTubers that I put in the quiz correct shows that the ones that they did know were the super uber famous ones, but that there wasn't necessarily a lot of audience overlap for some of the less famous YouTubers. As for how well my quiz participants did on the nature ID portion of the quiz, I am very proud of all of you. Great job. However, I think that some of your success may have been due to the fact that since I was picking pictures of wildlife that are common across all of North America, I wound up picking some things that are really pretty common and most people have seen and heard the name of at least once. And as you can see as you watch the answers being given, when my participants knew how to identify an animal or a plant in the quiz, they really knew it and people came out with very strong answers. That's really encouraging because that means that at least people are familiar with the really common stuff. I was also very proud of all of my quiz participants because every single one of you identified the raccoon correctly. If you've seen my previous Nature ID quiz video, then you know that raccoons and tigers somehow got confused in New York City earlier this year. Uh, so good job, all of you. So thanks again to everyone who participated in both of my Nature ID quizzes. I think that this has been a really fun exploration of what people are and are not familiar with in their surrounding natural environment. If there's another comparison Nature ID quiz that you think I should do, let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it. If you didn't like this video, please share it with someone who would. And if you'd like to support The Roving Naturalist, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and I'm a periodic contributor on the radio show Blue Dot, so you should go check that out as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alrighty, uh, the mosquitoes are exceedingly bad, so you will forgive me if I do not, um, uh, if I don't take too much time on this. Holy crap.